he's a man with a very uh, interesting level of morality and uh, is an interesting way of looking at the world. So he's a great cop. Uh, he does his job very effectively, um, but would have um, a dubious moral compass. It's an opportunity to kind of get into the, the darker side corners of yourself and exercise those out, you know? He threw a steam iron at me. Prior to this, most of the stuff I've played has been kind of a good guy. You know? um, more of a heroic figure. So uh, a bit of a walk on the dark side isn't such a bad thing. I think what's important is that I understand Brian and mm. that, you know, uh, not to judge him because then you come from a place of truth. And uh, hopefully that reads, you know, and helps the story. In Sharon's situation, it's, it's hard to know how you handle a bully. You know, he's, he's, um, he's tactical, he's intelligent, um, he is, can be mean-spirited, uh, but charming. I just thought you should see it. Yeah, I know how it looks. Not good. In, in my perspective, I'm not sure anybody else would see it this way, but you know, I think Brian, for me, is some, somewhat of an anti-hero in that he does accomplish an awful lot and can do good in terms of you know, uh, managing the streets and taking care of things. So you look at other anti-heroes on screen, the Tony Sopranos and the Walter Whites and that kind of stuff, you go like, okay, not such great people, but effective in certain ways. So uh, certainly the way those actors and the way those characters were portrayed um, has influenced my perception of this, yeah.